welcome to my podcast. This is Pastor Richard Seafried, and I want to apologize for how long it's been since I brought you my last uh, weekly podcast. My wife and I have both been down with COVID, uh, this Omicron uh, COVID, since the beginning of this year. We were actually out at our daughter Molly's house and uh, began to show some symptoms and that was the day before New Year's Eve. That was December 30th. And, and we've been sick ever since. I mean, coughing and all kinds of flu symptoms. And so uh, I, I feel bad that I've missed all these recordings. But uh, I'm just glad to be back in a, enough health to be able to bring you this uh, today. Well, there's been a lot going on in the news. And I hardly know where to begin uh, as we start this new year of 2022. Um, uh, I just want to say that we were really happy to have our grandson Jacob be able to play with the James Madison University Marching Royal Dukes, their marching band, at the inauguration of our new uh, governor here in Virginia. And that was last weekend in Richmond. And uh, what a blessing it was just to be able to have our grandson, our college age uh, grandson, be able to uh, take part in that event. That's going to be a memory that he'll cherish for a lifetime. And we were just uh, proud of his involvement in that particular uh, event. Well, today I want to talk about crime. And it just seems like every single day there's another story in the headlines as it relates to just senseless murders that have been going on uh, in, in the world and, and in our country. And it, it, what a shame it is. Uh, first of all, Crystal Naiva's 19-year-old girl who worked at Burger King as a, as a waiter was shot to death even after giving the gunman the money from the cash register over $100 uh, there in New York City, and, and even then she was still shot to death. Just a senseless, senseless uh, crime. And then there's the one out in Los Angeles, California, Brianna Kupfer, 22-year-old young woman, a furniture store worker in a really a nice upscale furniture store there in Los Angeles area, and she was stabbed to death by a homeless man for no apparent reason. They still have no idea what his motive was. It wasn't a robbery or, or anything like that. And, and you just talk about a senseless killing. There was, wasn't even a reason for it. And then there's the story of uh, Michelle Goh, this 40-year-old uh, Asian woman in New York City that was pushed in front of an oncoming subway train at the Times Square station uh, to her death. Uh, again, no real motive. Uh, at least they don't know what the motive was. And, and, and all these senseless murders are just taking place in our culture today. And what a shame that is. What a tragedy. It does fulfill a, a prophecy given in uh, the Bible when Jesus said in Matthew 24, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And one of the characteristics of the world in Noah's days is found in Genesis 6, 11, where it says violence filled the earth. Violence filled the earth. And we're seeing that in our culture today. And our hearts go out to those families that are grieving. You know, it's one thing to lose a child because of something that's reasonable, uh, like if they're in military service and they voluntarily serve in our United States military and are killed for that. There's, uh, there is some comfort in knowing that the child died for a reason and for a cause, but th this kind of killing, this kind of senseless murder is just heartbreaking. I can't imagine the grief that those parents must be going through. So uh, I would encourage you today as we start this new year to do a couple of things. Number one, pray for those that are uh, victims of, of these kinds of crimes. 
And secondly, pray that the Lord would come back this year. This may be the year that Jesus comes back and, and spares us of uh, any more of these terrible, senseless uh, crimes. Well, may the Lord bless you. I hope you are able to tune in again next week. Have a great day.